Hey guys, this is one fun zone for part two of our healthy breakfast. Um, for like, if you're in the morning and you're going running, you want to come home and you're all tired, um, you need something that will boost your day. And we've already talked about strawberry smoothies and um, the delicious Activia yogurt. We've talked about nectarines and plums. Um, Preferably, you should keep the plums and the nectarines and fruits in the refrigerator. Uh, if you keep it outside, it'll tend to get brown and it gets really sweet then, and it's not really good. Um, and for you people out there that like adding sugar to almost everything you eat, um, that's not a good thing. So, like, if you're eating um, plums, nectarines, apples, whatever, strawberries, um, you want to try to keep it to natural uh, sweetness of the rice your stomach will like get really big. Um, so yeah, natural strawberry flavors, uh, all kinds of berries, the natural taste is good, so you no need for sugar. Um, part two of the uh, healthy breakfast, uh, so only you can have is the blueberry thin active uh, fruit and grain cereal bar. Um, it has soft and sweet made with whole grain, oats, and real blueberry filling. Their breakfast snacks, um, take it on the run. Um, I chose blueberry because I have the most calories. Um, but that's if you're a cereal type person. Also, if you're a cereal type of person, you can have, um, like these small boxes of cereal, uh, raisin bran, um, cereals. Um, this only has 140 calories, but the fat calories are only 10. Calories. And now when you take a cereal or um, yogurts, you want to take the um, yogurts and cereals with the cheapest, uh, most lowest calorie number. Otherwise, and then you're going to have to go running to burn it up. Um, another healthy cereal is uh, Honey Bunches of Oats. And uh, I know everybody like this, likes this. This only has 120 calories. Um, it does have a lot of sugar. Uh, I mean, not a lot, but it does have a lot of sodium. But Honey Bunches of Oats is an awesome cereal. It has um, whole grain sugar, whole grain rolled oats, brown sugar, high cholesterol. Um, if you're trying to lower your cholesterol, this would be a good cereal to eat because it has zero cholesterol. Um, uh, along with this cereal, the Raisin Bran, it has um, zero cholesterol, so this will also be good if you're trying to lower it. Um, it only has one total gram of fat and 14 sugars, though, so the, all the raisins are coated in sugar. So that wouldn't be a good cereal to eat for like if you're trying to, like, if you're on a diet and you want to get rid of the sugars in your diet, that wouldn't be a good cereal to eat for that. But, um, yeah, so pretty much just stick to the healthy stuff. Um, okay, so if you're like a vegetable person or like you're snacking on something. Something that's really good to make. Um, If you're a vegetable fan like me and you like vegetables and instead of cereals and yogurts, here's another idea you can do. Salad bag. This is the Simply Garden Garden Salad. Iceberg, lettuce, carrots, red cabbage, uh, little salad bar bag. It has carrots, crunchy and fresh, red cabbage, and iceberg lettuce. Um, this is really good. You could like pour it into a small uh, bowl, such as, there's probably one like this size, it's a little mixing bowl, but it's also pretty good, you can put um, a lot of salad in there, and then a lot of people, what they'll do, is they'll take a for their um, salad, is they'll take our creamy dressing. Nope, not good. 
Um, creamy dressings aren't that good for you. Um, but I prefer as a spray, but if you are a creamy a dressing kind of person, you want to take light and fit. Um, or fit and active. Because this only has 80 calories. So, this is why I recommend Fit Active um, Ranch. It is really good. Um, but the spray dressings has only 10 calories. So, you can like spray this 20 times and I'll get 200 calories right there. But it's more healthier than um, your preferred Thousand Island dressing. The Thousand Island, by the way, has 90 calories, so, yeah. Um, it's for all the people who, like, like spray dressings or haven't tried it yet, you should try it. Um, this is the Italian vinaigrette dressing. It's really good. It just has that little spray thing. And you can just spray it into the bowl or into the salad, like, so. It goes everywhere, so. What I like to do first is try to get like a swimming pool and not fill it up by like when you're just starting and you get like at least the whole floor part covered with water. I do that too. This is how I get my salad ready. Okay, so I have the dressing in there that covers the entire bottom of the plate. And then you're going to take the salad bag. This is a brand new salad pack, so I'm going to have to cut it open. And I just put it open on the angle. Okay. A lot of salad in here, right? I know. Alright, so this is what I do. So you just have the salad set on the um, dressing and you wait for like five or ten minutes for it to soak to the bottom part. Then you spray like five more pumps on the top and mix it up and then you'll be having your salad ready to go. Um, or like if you're just a vegetable person and you just like eating vegetables with dip. You can take baby carrots on the run. Or you can take um, all carrots, but then you're going to have to peel them off. Plus you get the peel it, uh, the ones without the peels on them. This has only 35 calories. And um, it's really good. Um, it's like awesome. You can also have this with um, the Italian vinaigrette dressing pot. For this one, for baby carrots, I usually eat it with the thin active, and as you can see, it probably, if I can get this, it's all the way down to here. It looks like that because it's like poured, but it's all the way down to there, and I actually eat this one dip. Don't double dip, that's disgusting. Um, tomatoes are really good, they're fruits, but they're really, really good. Um, I know how I said to lower your sodium, but for tomatoes, you're going to want to eat it with um, salt. Or if you're just a ranch kind of person, you just eat it with ranch with not that much. You just put like one face down on the plate of ranch and you just dump it. Okay, um, so um, otherwise you can take your tomato, slice them, and like take a pinch of salt and like spray it uh, Throw it on the salt, the salt on the tomato slices. Not too much because then you're like, I don't want to eat it. It's healthiest snacks for fruits. Okay, applesauce. If you don't like applesauce, you got a big problem. Applesauce is one of the healthiest things you can eat. This is the one with cinnamon in it. If you don't like the cinnamon, you can always get the original. It depends on the cups that get big. Um, actually, that big. Yeah. Um, or you can take these little cups. Uh, this is the peach slices. You can get the mixed fruits. The one in the jello is pretty good, but the 